How's it going, everyone? This has got to transform them all. Uh, today I have th another three random booster pack opening. I've got two Boundaries Crossed and a Dragon's Exalted pack. Uh, but I'll get to these in a minute, because as you can see from my background, uh, I've got something to talk about here. Uh, and I, well, I guess a couple things to talk about, but namely uh, the background here. Uh, so this is just kind of like a one-episode thing, because I just... Uh, I'm very happy to say I finally have like a plush of all of my starters I've chosen. So Kanto, Bulbasaur, uh, Johto, Cyndaquil, Hoenn, Mudkip, uh, Sinnoh, Turtwig, Unova, Tepig, and Kalos, Chespin. Believe I got all that right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, some are obviously different size than others. Uh, the Cyndaquil here is the smallest, and that's uh, I think this is more like a Poke doll kind of thing from Japan. I mean, there's a Japanese tag there. Uh, so Cyndaquil is obviously the smallest one, but the biggest one is Turtwig, who's like easily the largest of any of them, but that was like a prize from a uh, amusement park that had some Pokemon prizes. Uh, and Turtwig was the one I wanted from him, and luckily uh, I was able to get him. So that uh, really cool from that. Uh, but the newest one here is Mudkip. And what's interesting about this guy, uh, I recently found him at a local Target. Now, Target is apparently uh, doing a new uh, end cap in the toy section where there's a butt, like it's all Pokemon cards. So check your local Targets. There should be some Pokemon cards in the toy aisles on like a, the end cap of an aisle. Uh, and they, they had a box of uh, these guys, so Mudkip, Trico, and Torchic. Uh, the one I saw had two of each, and this is just like... Oh my goodness, you guys, this is, like, the nicest, like, material I've ever felt. I don't know, like, it's just so soft and nice to touch, and it's just fantastic. Uh, really nicely made. Uh, easily, like, the nicest feeling quality of any of them. I mean, like, the others feel, like, nice and soft, too, but Mudkip is just easily, like, the softest of anything. Uh, so that's that. Uh, also, uh, as today is currently... January 12th. I have no idea when this video is going to be uploaded, but today is January 12th. Uh, last Saturday, which would have been, I think, the 10th. Yep. So January 10th, I went to batter up cards and comics for the local uh, Pokemon League thing. Uh, and much to my surprise, there was some sort of like championship thing for the trading card game. So there was like 90 something people there. Uh, most people were battling, so I didn't do, I didn't get to do a lot of trading, but I did. Well, I, I take that back. I got the most amount of trades I've ever gotten from going to this thing, uh, but that's probably just because of all the people that were there. Uh, so I'll just quickly run through all the cards I traded for. Everything here are ones I'm missing, and not everything's in the best uh, condition, but I, I don't know, I, like everything kind of fit just fits in with my collection anyway, considering like there's a lot of cards that look like this anyway. Now uh, we have a Persian from base set two, Tauros from base set two, Put that, put that a little closer there. So Tauros and uh, Persian base set two. We have a Brox Lickitung from Jim Heroes. Misty's Starmie. Misty's Goldeen. Light Slowbro from Neo Destiny. Dark, Arctil Dark Octillery. <laughs> a little hard to say that for me. Uh, Hitmonchan. Machoke from Expedition. I love, I love that I got so many older cards because those are the hard ones to find, really. Because uh, it's all about the newest sets and everything. Uh, we have a Reverse Hollow Weezing, which is a rare reverse from the original Ruby and Sapphire set. I was really surprised to see someone add that. I was like, I, I need to get that. Uh, same with this Milota because this one's actually a Reverse Hollow. Uh, if I do this, you can see like the water energy symbol. And if I try... I don't, it, it doesn't really show up well. Okay, there you go. You can kind of see like a dark energy symbol. There we go, water and dark. Uh, so this is like a, this is a reverse hollow from Hidden Legends. Uh, and it has a little symbol there to show it's a reverse hollow of a rare hollow. So that's a re that was a really nice one there too. Uh, then we have a Metatite. And these are from Hidden Legends. Uh, Surskit, really cute looking artwork. We got, I got a Kangaskhan Hollow from one of the most expensive sets ever, uh, at least currently, Fire Red and Leaf Green. So that was a really nice one to get. Uh, then we have a Makuhita from Emerald, Slugma from Deoxys, Spoink, 
with a really different looking Ken Sugimori artwork because it looks like there's uh, there's three of the spoings and it looks like there's some sort of like a zoom effect or something. I don't know how to describe. I don't know how to uh, describe it, but uh, interesting different artwork, not just like a flat out Ken Sugimori like official artwork on a background. Uh, got a Puchiana from Delta Species, although Puchiana itself is not Delta Species. Got a Gorbis Rare from Legend Maker. Centret, and again, like, cards kind of, like, bent right in half there. Uh, I, I, uh, I mean, this was, this is kind of more like a throw-in from the person, I guess, uh, just because it's not really anything anyone probably wants, and, like, I don't know, old cards kind of just fit in my collection anyway, so whatever. Uh, here we have a Lyron Reverse Hall from Holland Phantoms. Quagsire Rare from Dragons Frontiers. Knit Arena. Wooper Reverse from Dragon Frontiers to go along with the Quagsire there. Uh, we have a Wormadam Plant Cloak from Arceus, and this was the last Wormadam I needed in reverse from the set, so I've got all three now, which is nice. Uh, and then the two nice uh, new ones here. We have a Maractus Reverse Hollow Uncommon from Dragons Exalted, and Flygon Reverse Hollow Rare from Boundaries Cross, and those... Oh, and I've almost forgot a Musharna Reverse Hollow Rare from uh, Phantom Forces. Uh, so yeah, interestingly enough, we have the two sets these two are from to open today. Uh, so hopefully we don't pull uh, either of those in the packs. Uh, but I think that's about all I have to say. Uh, it's almost seven minutes into the video. Oh, uh, also, I will be getting a f uh, Primal Clash booster box. Uh, I sold a bunch of like my extra cards to Troll and Toad for some site credit, and I will be using that to buy a booster box, so look forward to that around when the set comes out, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that, that'll be for then. This is now, we got three booster packs, two Boundaries Cross, and a Dragons Exalted, which I got from Batter Up Cards and Comics in Tewksbury. Uh, I always like to get some packs while I'm there, just because... I don't know, like, especially like these, you don't really see them in stores at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the Dragon's Exalted pack, go oldest to newest. And main reason why I got these packs in particular, uh, these came from a, uh, I mean, basically a near full booster box, so I figured most of the good cards are probably still in there. Uh, so we have a Yanma, Apom, Electric, who has a uh, half art or full, like, large art, I don't know what you call them, uh, the Ancient Trait Electrite card in the Primal Clash. Now uh, we have a Stunky, Gibble, Tool Scrapper, Emolga, Oop, Sock, the Reverse Hollow, ooh, is an Ambipom, uh, which is a rare reverse, that's pretty nice, that's number 100 in the set, and my phone shut off because I took too long to, <laughs> uh, talk about all the stuff I wanted to talk about. So let's see. Dragon's Exalted. Here we go. 100. And I have this one already. So it is a duplicate reverse hollow. A uh, little disappointing, but uh, that's okay. It's just a random pack. Uh, the rare, the actual rare card is a wall rain, which is a non-hollow rare. And I have all the non-hollows for Dragon's Exalted. So definite duplicate there. Uh, we'll go on to uh, one of the first boundaries cross packs with Landorus on it. If you want to get really specific, it is the Landorus Therian form. Uh, but here is a Boundaries Crossed online code for you guys. Let me know if you got the code in the comment section below. Uh, I'd love to know if you got the code and if you got anything cool in the pack. So here we have a Pikachu. Pokeball. Dunsparce. Tepig. Crow Gunk, Mana, War Turtle, Mandibuzz, the Reverse Hollow is a Blossom, which is an, uh, another rare reverse. Very awesome. That is four in the set. Let's see. Oh, sweet! Right on the top of my list. So this is the uh, like this is the first uh, missing card on my list. So awesome! We got a new Reverse Hollow. I'm very happy with that. Uh, and always love getting rare, new rare reverses too, so that's awesome. Uh, the rare, or the actual rare, <laughs> is, a, is the Blossom card, so 
got both versions in that pack, which is pretty cool. Uh, the non-hollow regular one and then the reverse hollow. I do have the non-hollow, but the reverse hollow is sweet. So one last pack here. Hopefully we can get a hollow at the very least. Uh, if only to get average pulls for the three packs. Although I don't think I typically have great luck when it comes to uh, the packs I grab from uh, Batter Up. Uh, can always hope though. We have an Energy Search, Voltorb, P Dove, Chin Chow, Switch, Gotharita, Deli Bird, Oops, uh, Watchog, and the Reverse Hollow is a P Dove, which is a common reverse, number 123. I probably have this one already. Yeah, I do. I have this one. But interestingly enough, I'm missing 122 and 124, which are Stoutland and Tranquil. So right in the middle of those two, uh, which is kind of funny and sad. But oh well. Uh, the rare card. Uh, I was hoping it would be the Dusnor Hollow, uh, but it is a Musharna non-Hollow rare. So overall, uh, mm, I don't know, it's, it's, I guess, like, for the actual rares, it's kind of below average with no hollow in the three packs, but we did have two uh, reverse hollow rares, the Ambipom and the Blossom, which the Blossom is a new one for me, so I'm happy with that. Uh, Would have at least hoped, wanted, uh, I at least wanted a hollow, though, out of the packs, uh, but I I think I did say, uh, I don't think I have too great of luck with the batter-up packs. Uh, that is more me, though. <laughs> uh, because all the like I've gotten like a Lucario EX in a pack I opened off camera, uh, just to see if I get some stuff to trade with people. Um, so go figure that. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, once again, like let me know what you think of this background. It's not staying at the moment, but I maybe I can bring it back for booster boxes or something. Uh, or maybe, you know what, I can probably bring back uh, Mudkip at least for the Primal Clash booster box opening because that's kind of like a fitting plush for that. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos, including the booster box, if it hasn't already been posted because I have no idea when I'll get this video up. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day.